All right, so really all we need to do is make sure we update the uh, label. We could go ahead and update all of these properties. However, when you collapse this form, it doesn't recreate the form. It just hides it. So all these properties are really saved still. So that's not a big deal. We really just need to update this label. So let's hop back over to Tana and in our navigation.php, uh, the view, not the Ajax. We need to give our label an ID. So it's actually our link is what's going to have the ID. So again, let's just uh, stick to this format we're doing here on line 16. Let's go ahead and copy this uh, ID list underscore and the PHP. Paste that in the A tag. And let's just change this to label instead of list. And so this is going to give us a way to pinpoint the specific label and change it once the JavaScript is run or the Ajax is run. So we'll save that, hop over to js.php. And how we're going to do this is we're just going to use the what's called the done callback. Basically, once this form has been submitted, it's done, then do something. So let's first get what's been put into the label input field here. Yeah, because that's what's what we're going to be changing to. So we're going to create another variable. We're going to do var, and we'll just call this nav label equals. And what we're going to do is we're going to target that specific input. So, so for our selector, we're going to do input. And how we're going to select this is by finding the a specific property. In this case, we're going to look for the name property. To do that, we're going to do a set of uh, square brackets. We're going to say name equals label. So this is saying, you know, instead of going by a class like we usually do, we're looking for a specific tag. So the input tag. So it's going to look at all the input tags and then find the one that has the name equal to label. And what we want from that is the value. So dot. VAL for value. Close that. And uh, you may notice down here on line 80, this alert. Uh, you do not need to have that in there. That was a test I did earlier. So let's see. So now we have that information. Now we just need to change what we called the label. And what we're going to do is we're going to run what's called a done callback. So go ahead and get rid of this uh, semicolon here because we're going to kind of tag this callback on to the end of this. So we're going to do dot done. And then we're going to run a function in there. Give yourself some parentheses and the curly brackets. Now you can put the semicolon back down here at the bottom. And this is where we're going to need to change. All right, so we just have a couple more things we need to do. We've set that label up to have a unique ID. That's going to be label underscore and then the ID number of the navigation item. So we need to kind of, in order to, uh, in order to pinpoint that, we need to kind of build this selector. So we're going to need to get that ID number of the specific nav. So following suit with what we did on line 71 here, let's just copy that whole line and paste it again below. And we're just going to change this from nav label to nav ID. And then here for the name equals, it's going to be ID. So now we have the ID number at our disposal. So down here in our done callback, we're going to need to adjust the HTML or change the HTML of that label. So let's start our selector. We already know it's going to be label underscore, but then we need to concatenate the ID number on there. And in JavaScript, concatenation is done with a plus sign. 
So plus and then nav ID. And then we're going to adjust the HTML. So dot HTML. And what this does is basically changes or swaps out whatever is in within the tag that we've selected. Uh, it's going to swap out what we send it. So we're going to send this the nav label. Close that. Save it. Hop back over to Firefox and go back to our navigation. So if this works correctly, I should be able to change home to back to just home. So we'll get rid of the two and we'll look up here because this is important. Save that and it did not work. And I know why. Hop back over to Aptana. Here in our selector on line 83, we need to make sure we put in the hashtag to tell it that we're looking for an ID. So, you know, it's simple things like this. When you're having issues and something's not working, a lot of times it's something really simple like this. So save that. Come back over here, click on navigation again, and click on home. And this time we'll just change it to home too again. Click save. There you go, pretty cool. So this will change to whatever we want it to be. And we'll go and change it right back. And actually enter works, uh, just so you know. So rather than having to go down and click save, you can actually just change this. Hit enter, and it's changed. Pretty cool stuff.